Reed with the Special Team Servants and today we're going to talk about approaching the ball. So now we know how to line up for a kick, we're going to take our three steps back. And our two across. And we're sitting here waiting for the ball to be snapped. And one thing we want to keep in mind is that our inside hip should be right in line with the outside of the football. And as we approach the football, we want to take, we want to make sure that we're not sprinting to the ball. And also, we want to make sure we're not going too slow. Just like a casual walk. We want to find out nice, comfortable steps towards the ball. And when we do that, we're going to, some people take jab steps. Like, and what a jab step is, just a step up and down off the ground with your plant foot. Or some people just go straight into the kick with their kicking leg. It doesn't matter, it's all personal preference. For me, I like to take a jab step. So my approach to the ball, I'm gonna take a jab step, I'm gonna go with my kicking leg, and then I'm gonna finish with my plant leg, then I'm gonna kick, then I'm gonna kick the ball. And one thing to remember on your approach is in addition to not sprinting to the ball or going too slow to the ball, you wanna make sure that you're going in a straight line, like this, just a straight line to the ball, as opposed to a uh, common mistake that young kickers make, which is kind of doing like a C route, where they kind of line themselves up like that, kind of take a C of the ball. That's not how you want to do it. You just want to take a straight line. And the last thing to keep in mind is, as you're taking your straight line, you don't want your legs, to, you don't want your steps to cross over, because that's going to throw you off balance. As far as why it's important to approach the ball correctly, I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So we picked our target out, taking our three steps back, taking our two across. It's important to be squared with the ball, and like I said, and how you're supposed to physically do this, being squared with the ball is that inside hip aligned with the outside of the ball. And that really allows you to take a straight path, and when you plant your foot, it's a straight line, you're going to be squared, ready to keep the ball to your best of your abilities. Like a lot of people, the younger kickers, like I mentioned, they'll take that banana route or the C route. It's not going to make them square. And when they get to the ball, they're going to have so much momentum. They may be off balance. The ball is going to go left, right. It's going to be hard to control that ball. So if you're taking a nice straight approach and being square, that's really when it's going to set you up for a good kick. And also, one thing when you're getting ready to approach the ball is I like to take a last look at my target and once I've seen my target for the last time I'm watching the spot of the ball and I'm staying focused. Now there's a lot going on in the game. You may have the fans saying block that kick. You may get guys on the other team calling you names. You've got, you could have wind coming at you. You could have been sleet, snow, hail. Could be seconds ticking on the game clock and you gotta get over fast. There's gonna be a lot going on. So, one thing I like to keep in mind is my approach. I just like to stay focused, just zone out on everything else going around you because you cannot control any of that. So, if you can't control it, don't worry about it. So, when you're back here getting ready to approach the ball, take a last look at the target and then just keep your eyes focused on where the ball is gonna land once your holder catches it. And then from there, you're gonna take your steps forward square up and you're going to keep the ball straight through the uprights and you're going to hit that small target that you picked out. So now we're going to talk about a drill you can do in your basement, your dorm room, anywhere on approaching the ball. And like we did for lining up for a kick, we're going to use that same triangle that we made because that triangle is what you said was your most comfortable three steps back and two steps across. So because that's your most comfortable, that's your standard, you're practicing that in your basement, wherever, you're getting used to those three steps. So every time you take your steps back and across, you're gonna land at the same spot. Now with that, we're gonna go across, take our steps back, go across. This is where we're gonna line up before the kick. And because we have this line here, creating a triangle, this is our straight path that's gonna square us up to the ball once we're once we've approached it and you'll know that you can easily see your if you're taking a C you're going inside the line or if you're practicing your approach 
you want to you don't want to cross over or anything like that you got the straight line you're gonna walk straight down the line to the ball and look at your target stay focused on the football take your jab step make your approach and each step that line is going to be in between your legs so your so your drill what your drill could be is simply you can visualize because a lot of a lot of kicking is you can visualize and that's that is good practice in itself right there just mentally preparing yourself for the kick so when, wherever you have this set up you can do air kicks and what an air kick is is a kick without a football so I'm visualizing a target beyond the uprights I'm taking my steps back I'm drawing that line from the target to my foot and to the ball where it's going to be spotted I'm taking my steps across lining up my foot or my my inside hip is in line with the outside of where the ball would be I've got my target my last look now I'm looking at the, the spot of the ball, visualizing the snap. The snap ball has been snapped. And that's it. That's just an air kick. It's going straight through. I went straight down the line during my approach. My feet didn't cross over the line. I didn't do that C route. I went straight through. I was square. It was all visualization. You can do that drill all day long because it takes little to no effort. Because you're not kicking the ball. You're not using all that power. It's just mentally visualizing and preparing yourself for the big kick in the game. When we're kicking a field goal, we want to be focused as we approach the ball on a straight path. And we may get distracted by worrying about the snap, the hold, the weather, the rush. If we are focused, we may not get a clean kick on the sweet spot of that ball. Our body might want to approach the ball on a more curved path. If our approach isn't straight, we may find that we aren't putting ourselves in the best position to kick the ball straight towards the target that we picked out. If any of these things happen, we may ultimately miss our kick. Think of every decision we face in life by kicking a field goal. With every decision, we need to be focused. We shouldn't be worrying about things that are out of our hands, things that we cannot control no matter how hard we try. Furthermore, every decision we want to make, we want to be on a straight path. We don't want to break any laws, be unethical, unfair, unjust, or anything like that with our decisions. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and learn, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make our path straight. And that's Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. As we grow in Christ and mature spiritually through Bible studies, church, youth groups, etc., we break away from our old sinful ways and we learn how to live life the way that God intended us to. As a result, when we're faced with a decision, we may find ourselves at a crossroad. Should we continue to make a decision based on the way we always have because we've done it before and we know what will happen? Or should we make the decision based on the way that God wants us to? And this may be unfamiliar for us. This may be uncomfortable for us. This may be difficult as we may be fearful because we're uncertain about what lies ahead. We need to submit to God and make our decisions based on the way He wants us to. Even if it is uncomfortable, even if it is difficult or unfamiliar, even if we don't understand, if we are fearful, we need to trust in the Lord. We need to be focused on how He wants us to make the decision as opposed to the fear or the uncertainty we may have by just like, by the fear of the uncertainty we may have, just like we need to be focused on the ball, not worrying about the snap, the hold, or the rush. If we make our decisions based on the way that God wants us to, He will make our path straight. By having a straightened path, He can show us a bigger picture and we will see what is really important. We can reflect on the past and see all the places that we have come from. We can learn from our mistakes so we do not repeat them. Furthermore, by being on a straight path, we will see what the bigger picture of life is and what really lies ahead for us and we'll realize what truly is important. By living on a straight path, we don't have to be focused on our daily trials and troubles. Rather, we can live with peaceful confidence because we now understand the bigger picture of life. We now understand what it takes to make the kick of life.